Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It's time for another game that we're going to be trying out. Uh, this one is called Domina. Uh, Domina came out, I think, around the end or the middle of 2017, and um, I don't know, I think they maybe just updated it or something, but uh, they wanted to get a little bit of coverage in again, and uh, thanks to the wonderful devs at Dolphin Barn Incorporated, I got a key for this, so I'm checking it out. I gotta be honest, the game, when it first released, I think, completely sipped my radar. I didn't even know this existed. Uh, but it seems pretty fun. And it does have Twitch integration, so everybody who's during the stream who's in the Twitch chat, um, we actually have a bot going on who will be, when the matches start, will be saying something in chat, and then you guys can write a command in chat and basically cheer for the fighters. Uh, when it comes to options, we're playing on normal, uh, just because I think normal is alright. I also enabled brutal fights, which apparently makes the fights longer and more brutal, which I think is pretty nice. So yeah, we've got um, voting, etc. So this is all set up, quite nice, and we're gonna jump right in. So yeah, with a new game. The sun is setting on the once mighty Roman Empire. Violent rebellion erupts in the far territories, while political corruption erodes the empire closer to home. Fearing that the citizens will revolt, the emperor has decreed that there shall be a year of epic gladiatorial games culminating in the greatest championship the empire has ever seen, affording unimaginable rewards of coin and glory. The emperor hopes to revitalize commerce or commerce, and establish the rule of law once again. But Rome is disintegrating in his clenched fist. It may be your last chance for glory in Rome. The next local games are scheduled soon, and you aim to win. And we will proceed with tutorial, because I have no idea how to play this game. So, I can pause this, I can also... Um me oh my god why did my voice cut out how did my voice cut out I didn't even press that button ah uh, yes I know it's fake uh, how long was this happening <sighs> fuck sake sometimes I swear OBS it cut out as at weekend pause oh it was because I pressed the button to turn the time down okay yeah 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 because that's my mute button anyway so yeah, apparently we can name people, but changing a man's name could be bad for morale. What a great start to the stream. Um, they have a temperament, uh, they have a weight and a total weight, that's obviously with their um, equipment in. Different like agility, weapon, defense and strength, you can tell them to train and you can tell them like how the balance is supposed to be. Their aggressiveness, the turtling how evasive and how much stamina they have. So, this is our man Ninius. But, um, I think we're gonna rename it. Wait, what? Okay. I think we're gonna rename him. Uh, we're going to name him slash TG slash T of G. So, there you go. Which apparently makes him very upset. Uh, but I think we're just gonna give him, like, some wine and then and maybe some coin and there you go so <laughs> now he is pleased with having his name chains um we can also tell him to train i guess but for now we shall just uh go with this um our next guy is iranius of galatia who we shall also rename 
to demon dragon of zero zero. Let's see, let's do some wine and a coin. Very fine. And then we've got Saviors of Galatia. Who we're going to be renaming... Is anyone there? Let's, let's go with Cowhead. I, Cowhead is probably going to show up sometime today. Cowhead of Pigalia. There you go. So that's pretty nice. Get some wine, get some coin. There you go. Apparently giving them one coin is nice. So here you can select which gladiator class they have. You must have an active Doctora and Mormilla. Okay, uh, single blade and shield, good armor. So we can turn him... I guess we will wait until Cowhead gets one, because we have like two people already. Okay, so we have Cowhead of Pigalia, slash T of G, and Demon Dragon of 000. As the heiress to a once mighty Ludus in the heart of the Roman countryside, you see an opportunity to ride this wave of a revitalized interest in bloodshed to the ends of the Empire, to burn out in a fabulous spectacle of violence and greed. Mm. Having driven your family's ludus into the ground with poor business decisions and lack of integrity, your father bequeaths to you ownership of the ludus and its paltry holdings. On the dusty road home to assume the mantle of Lanista and Domina, a woman looks at you knowingly and proclaims, they'll never let you win. You try to put the old woman's icy stare out of your mind as your family begrudgingly surveys their new home, and your father slowly fades towards his inevitable death. Nice. Okay, so I guess we can tell these people to train. Um, let's see. So Demon Dragon seems to be quite evasive. Improve movement speed. Okay. So how about if Demon Dragon is quite evasive, how about we give her some more weapon and like some more agility? And kind of not focus really on defense much. Kind of like this. Train. And then we're going to have Slash is... Pretty aggro. Stamina. Need some stamina. It's decently turtle, I guess. So, let's see. So, we're definitely going to give... Slash is going to get some more strength... Not really agility, but like training weapon defense, like kind of like, kind of like this. I have no idea if that's good. We'll find out. Hey, Wooly Woo Wolf, hello. From your childhood, you remember the dusty road leading to the market. It is your principal means of obtaining resources for the upkeep of your ludus, and you'll need to shop there fairly soon. You hope to find potential employees there. Hopefully some reputable men who can aid in restoring the Ludus to glory. Your mind recalls a distant memory of your father wasting his time and coin at the pit fights beneath the market. You shudder to think of the place. Alright, so yeah, the market. So it says that I need to buy stuff, but I'm not really sure what I should buy. Like some, some wine? Or I can just buy like once or what? But I get, like, a lot out of it. Okay. I guess we can just kind of go with this. What happened? I can click her, but nothing happens. A large man with a whip has presented himself at your villa and requests your ear. I see that there are games scheduled in a few days, and have heard that you plan to attend. I served your father for many years, but when he fell ill and the Ludus turned to ruin, I had to find my daily bread elsewhere. I would be honored to return to the Ludus and train your men for this battle. Without me, these men will be slow and stupid lambs to the slaughter. You don't plan to manually train these brutes yourself and decide to take the man up on his offer. So he's a Doctore. Enable automatic glare. When enabled, Doctore will automatically train gladiators depending on the emphasis chosen in the gladiator information stream. I see. Gladiator can surrender at any time during battle, essentially saving his life. Okay. Seeing that you still struggle with the basic management of the Ludus, the Doctora writes a short note and has it delivered to you discreetly so as to not to embarrass you in front of the men. Domina, if things are moving too quickly for you, try using the plus and minus key. The minus key was what muted my mic. Uh, to adjust time, or the spacebar to pause completely. Additionally, the tab key will show you an overlay of gladiator info without having to manually select H1. 
Oh, okay, I see. Now, one thing though, I can actually buy these guys some better stuff, and it doesn't look a basic Pugio or a Gladius. Wait, the basic Pugio gives me money? Let's see, so... So this is Slash TG, who's pretty aggro. Well, Slash is getting a Gladius. He's got a pretty nice shield. Centurion Lever, Centurion Merle. Basic Helm. Oh no, he's got a standard Sagittarius Helm. Oak Short Greaves. Let's give you some better griefs, I guess. There you go. And meanwhile, Demon Dragon has her belly exposed. Okay, Demon Dragon, you get like a proper Gladius. You get a better shield. Let's give you... What is this? Studded Cock. Leather Studded Cock. Okay, you're going to keep your cock. I can't take that from you. Let's give you some, like, proper griefs. Can I put you something on the arm? Aha, black leather pauldron. There you go. Proper armor. Because you're not actually, like, too weighty, I guess. Okay, nice. Another note from the Doctora arrives. Domina, it is obvious that you have an intense desire to control the minds of men. I can aid you in doing so during battle if I research the proper methods. Once I have researched it, you can control men in battle by selecting him during battle setup. You will notice a controller appear above his head, and an AI indicator will appear for the men who will fight for themselves. Hopefully they have some AI skill if they intend to win. Okay, so yeah, apparently you can play uh, the guys by yourself in this game. Um, or you can just have the AI play. I kind of think the, letting the AI play is pretty cool, because, you know, you can kind of like... Bet on these guys. Weapon training, agility training. Done researching humility. Allows you to directly control one gladiator on the field of battle. Gladiators always run and require less stamina. Gladiator can attack to opponent's left or right side when facing up or down, or high and low when facing sideways. That's important. I think. Nice, so here's our first fight. Let's see, arena battle. The host is the magistrate. Game type is one versus one. We get a lot of stuff if we win. Apparently two people as well. No participation cost, surrender allowed, yes. No obstacles. And we're playing against Wisebot, <laughs> who is from my chat. So um, the Wisebot is the, the bot who says hello. <laughs> That's great. Wisebot has three victories. It's pretty decently equipped. Okay. Pick our gladiators. So either Demon Dragon or Slash. Um, let's send Slash in. Slash, you're a good man. Let's try you out. Here we go. Slash versus Wisebot. And this will be the first time where people in chat get to cheer. Here we go. Cheering apparently makes it so that we get more money if we win. Here we go. Oh, it's not. Oh! Oh, go, Slash, go! Yeah! <laughs> there we go, and we got a couple of cheers there too, which increased our reward a little bit. Nice. And as rewards, by the way, we got Demon Dragon and Slash TG, which is pretty hilarious because we already have them. So. I am Demon Dragon. I am Slash TG. <laughs> That's great. So we have, like, their twins. We'll just rename them. An old man enters your villa uninvited. He is well-dressed and claims to be a high-placed government official. He introduces himself. I am the Magistrate. I was impressed with your showing in my games yesterday. Your prowess as a Lannister is evident, though you may be lacking in experience. Your father was a good man, and I am sorry to see his business and health failing. If you are in search of new slaves to turn into gladiators, I can provide you with agreeable stock. The smell of wine on this dusty old fuck's breath is off-putting, but you intuit that keeping him in good favor will be necessary in order to maintain more favorable challenges in the arena when he hosts. Okay, so apparently we can send him wine as bribery. Let's send him two wine. 
Agreed. Which makes him contend. We can arrange an exhibition match. An exhibition of your wares for the magistrate and his friends will surely increase his favor. Suggest gladiator patronage. As a patron, the magistrate would assume all day-to-day -day costs of his chosen gladiator. We probably have to give him, like, eat more wine for that. Purchase slaves. Buy healthy fighting men who are completely untrained in gladiator... Wait, I can buy a horse. And there's Wooly Woo Wolf, by the way. I can buy a horse. Yeah, I think that's why I didn't suggest renaming them, but of course it's only the people in chat, so... Well, let's buy Wooly Woo Wolf, I guess. 12 coins. Oh god, we have like a lot of people now. Okay, so let's see. So we've got Slash. You're a, you're a Thrax now. Slash TG of Syria. We're just gonna leave that name. Let's see. Aggro, Turtle, ev oh, super evasive. Okay. Let's give you like more Meditate. Meditation provides greater AI attack efficiency. Level 25, okay. Let's see. Train that man. Cowhead of Pigalia. <laughs> nice AI skill right there. And Wooly Woo Wolf. Wooly Woo Wolf of Tripolitana is very agitated. Alrighty. Slash is uh, definitely getting healed. And uh, Slash is going to be rewarded with a crowd favor in coins. And Slash is also going to be rewarded with some wine. <laughs> the two demon dragons, I love it. Agility 2, Agility 14. Do I always have to tell them what to train? When in Ludus, right click on... Oh, just right click on a gladiator. Okay. Oh, here we go. Next fight against Hosidius. Holds is the legate. Okay. Pick your gladiator. Well, we're sending in uh, Demon Dragon. Let's go get ready for a fight. By the way, I think you can sh actually like cheer multiple times. Oh no, Demon Dragon! Oh, Demon Dragon! No! And so... Demon Dragon has died. Luckily, we have another Demon Dragon, so that's kind of nice. A heavily armed soldier barges into your Ludus unannounced. His armor is adorned with very fine detail, and you gather that he's an important person by the way he strikes fear into your slaves. I am the Legate, commander of the military detachment stationed nearby. I was impressed with your showing in my games yesterday. But if you want to win more bouts in the arena, you'll need better trained warriors, and I have many to spare. My warriors may not be as agreeable and cheap as the magistrate's useless wares, but at least they know how to wield a sword. The man demands wine as he reclines on your balcony, and suggests that if you put on an exhibition match for him or the magistrate, it would be useful training for your gladiators. 
Okay, so once again, we can send the man wine to make him a little content. Uh, we can suggest a gladiator pat patronage. We can purchase gladiators directly from him. Who have, like, proper stuff going on. AI difficulty 40. Damn, they also cost a lot, though. Arrange an exhibition match. Dirkus Diggalus. Many versus many. Many of your own gladiators versus each other. Oh, well, I don't really... We're gonna reject these terms. We're gonna very quickly... Equip our men here, actually. Cursed shield. Very fine. Yeah, we're gonna put, like, leather on you. Leather cock. Studded leather cock, so you can, like, do some proper evading, I guess. Hopefully. Cowhead is very pleased with this. Lash is still healing. Well, I guess let's have an exhibition. Oh, I can't? Oh. Blackmail the Magistrate. Arrange exhibition match with the Magistrate. Let's go. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm actually... There you go. So that's going to be Demon Dragon versus Cow Hat. Here we go. Exhibition match! Hello, Insomniac. Welcome. Bleed on! Oh, we got uh, Demon Dragon getting some hits off. The oh, wow. Demon Dragon not looking good. Cow Hat keeping the range. Keeping Demon Dragon very much at range. Demon Dragon can't get a hit in. And surrenders. Cowhat wins. Nice. Got some coin, some crowd favor. And uh, the host's temperament. A note from Doctore. When a gladiator's HP drops below 20%, there is a chance he will develop an impediment. Demon Dragon has been severely wounded in battle and has developed an impediment that will limit his attack and weapon training to 69 the next time this happens, only a short notification message will be visible in the Ludus, but the impediment will be visible in the Gladiator's information. Victories for... Okay, impediment, max weapon level 69. Your current weapon level is... is 1. Your current weapon level is 1. <laughs> Demon Dragon is vengeful. Okay, Demon, look, I know you just lost. Here, have some wine. Like, have some wine. Have have some coin, and hopefully feel better. Meanwhile, Cowhat needs to be very much rewarded with this. There you go. Nice. The legate does not appear to have much to do. He's always lingering around the villa and leering at you. He reclines in the shade, overlooking your gladiators who toil in the heat. He drunkenly opines... I do love a longer and more brutal fight, even more so when blades are dulled, much as such as when you enable game options brutal fights, which I have. For what it's worth, I'd never be a patron to any of these pathetic wimps. But if you catch me on a good day and show me a gladiator worth supporting, perhaps I'd pay for his upkeep. Your ailing father calls to you. You show great promise as a Lannister. You are a natural. No doubt you see glory in Rome. In order to qualify for the great championship games, you will need to win some regional championships. This is like Blood Bowl all over again. This map shows the local heroes, some of the massive BMOFs for each region. I've estimated the cost of attending each of these games. But be aware that while the rewards are handsome, it will cost a great deal of resources to travel to these games. When you have achieved a victory in a regional championship, I will tell you of Jupiter's blessings. Gladiators learn advanced blade control, resulting in 25% greater attack damage. Gladiators always run and require less stamina. Shield defense bonus. 
Let's go shield control. Started cock. Nice. Maybe give you like. Oh wow, that's minus a hundred. Oh boy. Healing, healing. The cowhead is still training, which is all right. Actually, no, cowhead is training now. There you go. And woolly wolf is still healing. Okay. Well, money wise and so on, we're looking pretty good, I guess. So I can actually just, I have so much, I can just send this guy wine. Magistrate Curiatus Mirobaldus has agreed to become a patron of your Ludus. He has adopted slash TG of Syria. The magistrate will be responsible for this gladiator's food and water until the day that he dies on the field of battle. Nice. So, slash TG is now, does it say, yeah, patroned by the magistrate. So slash TG won't cost us anything anymore. Let's celebrate that with some wine slash. And, uh... Let's give him some wine, he's satisfied. Now disquieted some more wine, there you go. Uh, okay, not really interested. Yay, yay, he goes. Alright, well they're just all healing. Does he, does he have like a good gladiator for not too much? Who's this? Volchi and Valgius. Pilot Priest, what a great horse name, and Aurelius. Aurelius is obviously not a very good person. I mean, we do have Cowhead and Slash TG right now, who are basically, well, <laughs> one of the Slash TGs, who is currently doing well. Hello, Pelora, hello. Holy crap, midnight, is it midnight? Nah, well, not midnight for me, but uh, almost. So this is the map of games. Fight of the Centurions, Unfinished Business, Rumble in the Jungle. The Battle of the Ages, Twin Beasts of Burden. The Grand Championship. The final championship will take place after one year's time. Okay. Valgius, attack level 6, agility level 19. Well, I don't want to spend, like, crazy amounts of money. Slash TG... ...is not amazing. Cowhead is pretty good. Okay, well, let's continue with more time. Oh! Oh my god, we're fighting Insomniac Alopex as a slave. And he's got no equipment whatsoever. Obstacles, chain, gladiator, what does that mean? Are there any obstacles in the arena that must be overcome? So, the gladi my gladiator is chained then, I guess. Well, Insomniac, I think you will be uh, sacrificed to our man, Cowhat. So, uh, this happens because the game reads Twitch chat and everybody who's watching, every viewer can show up as an NPC in the game. Here we go. Cheer, everybody! Give us those cheers! We are chained, though. Let's see how he does. Let's see how he does. So we have to get rid of the chain. A gift from the crowd! Oh no! Insomniac gets a weapon! Oh, our shield is gone! Ah, oh, we got him, though! Ooh! <laughs> hey, DJ Deeks! Nice! And we got Pelora01 as a slave. Welcome to the looters, Pelora. Cool, so Demon Dre, where's, where's Cowhead here? Cowhead is over here. Cowhead, you need to be healed for a little bit, but not too much. Let's check out Polora, who we just got. So Polora is in basically everything a level 1. Okay. Once again, very diff very evasive, so that's nice. We're gonna have you train and stuff. The next battle is in 7 days. There's still healing. Let's go. Nice. Wooly Woo Wolf is uh, 
finally done. Slash is finally done. Let's see. Wooly Woo Wolf. Clickety clang, clickety clang. The money goes. Oh, the would you look at that? DJ Deeks with the <laughs> gifted sub for Insomniac Alopex. Insomniac, welcome to the Piggy Pan. It's time for pigs in chat. All the piggies, all the little piggies. Da, da, da. All right, I think we just had Cowhead have a good fight here. Cowhead, you're getting. Are you at good actually? Yeah, you're like. Oh, who's like. Here, Slash is back. Slash is like our big man. Slash, you're getting a basic Kwama. You're getting like a good upgrade. Requires Faba em Emeritus. Damn, that weighs a lot, holy crap, but we're gonna make you a fatty. Defense? What is this? So, the elite Roman Centurion shield has less defense, weighs way more, and has the same HP. But is the weight, does that mean it can't be knocked, knocked away as easily? Because that's something that, I don't know. Jupiter's male. Let's give you, like, a nice Roman captain helmet. Magical Onyx Pauldron. What the hell? Commander's Levers. That barely does anything. Heavy Greaves. Okay. Uh, let's give you Jupiter's Mail. There you go. And then, of course, we want to... Equip Holy Woo Wolf Studded Cock. My cock is always studded. Oh, yeah, Palora. We need to equip you too. Nice, there we go. Done researching shield control. Perfect. Unlock the Retarius class. Okay, that's a lot of money. Let's not do that. Defense against pole weapons is increased. Gladiators always run. Gladiators learn advanced blade control resulting from empty defense. This is good. I need defense. My people need to stay alive. Nice. Demon Dragon is back. Basic Pugia. Let's give you like a proper Gladius, shall we, Demon Dragon? Nice. I can't spend too much money anymore. Alright, we got a couple of... We got a good couple of little gladiators going on here. Oh, we're gonna fight against Insomniac Alopax. He's back. Uh, it's not that simple. Gladiator weight is linked to multiple stats. Agility, AI disposition, and HP. Heavier guys have higher HP, slower agility, and leans towards aggro turtle. Lighter guys have lower HP, higher agility, and leans towards evasive turtle. Okay, that makes sense. What the hell is this music? Alright, we've got Insomniac back. He wants revenge. He didn't die last time. Uh, the Magistrate is giving this. We're gonna get some money, maybe, from this. So Insomniac is... has a Gladius. Is very evasive. Helm armor defense. Okay, his defense 66 HP. Wait, can we... Many versus... Oh, poor Insomniac. Okay. Uh, let's see. We're putting in... Wooly Woo Wolf and Polora. Two versus one. I accept these terms. That was too close. You were almost a jill. Oh, sandwich. Wooly Woo Wolf with a hundred bits. Thank you so much. Here we go. Cheer, cheer, cheer. Bring him on. Oh no, I didn't actually notice that we're chained. Oh, Insomnia going for it. Wooly Woo Wolf taking heavy hits there. And Palora. Palora not knowing what she's doing. Palora, what are you doing? No. Insomniac is a hardcore killing machine. Oh, Wooly Woo Wolf died. Oh my god. Polora did not know what to do at all. That was terrible. That was terrible, but we get DJ Deeks and Wisebot. Oh man. Oh, poor Wooly Woo Wolf. Oh, poor Wooly Woo Wolf. That's just sad. 
I'm kind of sad, by the way, that we don't seem to be... Um... That, like, we don't seem to be... Getting a lot of, um... Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that we don't seem to get our armor back when they die. Like, that's kind of a little weird, honestly. A money lender approaches you regarding a loan that your father had taken out against his prized gladiator Ruvius. He demands repayment of the loan. Pay back the supposed loan. Offer Ruvius as repayment of the loan, knowing full well that Ruvius has been dead for years. Oh right, you guys can actually vote what to do. You guys in the chat can vote on what you want me to do. Or attempt to kill the money lender on the spot. Go Twitch. Go Twitch. Uh oh. Uh oh, I see where this is going. I see where this is going. I'm gonna give it five, four, three, two, one. Okay, offer Ruvius as repayment. Oh wait, here's the voting window. Sorry, it's down there. Voting window will remain open until local player selects their content. Okay, offer Ruvius. After signing a writ of ownership, transferring Ruvius to the care of the moneylender, he greedily awaits his prize. You have Ruvius remains dug up from the yard and deposit a sack of dirty moldy bones into the moneylender's waiting arms. You scheming cunt, he yells. A dead slave is worth nothing to me. I demand payment in full. You have two of your largest guards as caught him off your property, but not before you bury your foot in his groin a few times. Nobody calls you that word. Nobody. That's beautiful. Slash TG is meditating. Om. Um. Oh wait, I just realized Polora needs to heal. Da -da 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 -da. This is like a little busy work game at this point. Gladiator can quickly roll to avoid. I want to do nimble stance so that they always run. That I think that's actually really good. Next battle. Okay, so we've got our next battle going on. Uh, I want to wait a bit more before I buy Wisebot and so on stuff. So, because we do have our peeps. Also, I just realized there are, like, ranks, aren't there, that you can see. Because they do have... They do have what seems like a rank symbol next to them, which I'm not quite sure what that means. I think it's just, like, a general thing. And Demon Dragon actually has some really bad stats. Actually, wait, does she? No. Level 3... Point seventy one. Oh, I see. Okay. That's the total speed. Ah, right. Now I get it. Okay. All right. We're fighting Wooly Woo Wolf. Wooly Woo Wolf comes back from the dead, swearing vengeance on the people who first kill her. Revenge! Okay, let's see. The, apparently the Legate doesn't like us very much. I think I need to bribe him with some many versus one again. But we are chained, so... Okay, we're putting Slash in. And... And we're putting Demon Dragon in. Let's go. We are chained, though. Here we go, everybody. Prepare for battle! Nice. Slash takes the offense. Not, lots of nice blocks here. Oh, evasive roll from Wooly Woo Wolf. Oh, and we take him down. Took quite a bit of uh, damage there from him, though. But yeah, that evasive roll. That was a nice evasive roll right there. Very, very fine. That was very, very fine. Okay, Slash, you get healed. Demon Dragon, you get healed. Nice, very good. He's researching, that's always great.
Oh, we're done researching Nimble Stance. Nice. Uh, Evasive roll. That is pretty cool. Now we do have a lot of money. We could get the next class, but... Wait, one thing that I'm not quite sure. So these are the special training maneuvers. But does that mean all of my gladiators have them? Because, or, or do they like, do they learn them? Like, where could I see that? Does, does Do like all of them have it? Because it says here, when enabled, Doctoro will automatically train gladiators depending on the emphasis chosen in the gladiator inform information screen. Because like, you can't tell me that just like, everybody is automatically training that. Okay, I'm gonna put like, Let's see, I'm, we're gonna do it like this. The new guys come over here. Slash TG is sponsored. And then we're gonna have people kinda like this, I guess. It could be that without the auto, he tries to train them all with those skills. Yeah, maybe. We'll find out. Nice. So we do have a lot of money, uh, but I do need to send some wine to people. Your wisdom Apparently he's still concerned, but we can do a nice exhibition match so he's like a little happier. Uh, the Magistrate can also get some wine. Yeah, let's make an, uh, let's make an exhibition match. We want to get like our little guys in. One versus one. All right, let's get our new people in. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's have like a fucking let's have a fucking fist fight. Wisebot versus DJ Deeks. Let's go. I accept these terms. Punch! 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 <laughs> Boo! Wait, they don't punch each other? Oh, they threw a weapon though. They threw a weapon, DJ Deeks has the weapon! Come here, Wisebot! Oh no, Wisebot has a weapon! Ooh, Wisebot keeps him in range! DJ Deeks in a bad position! Oh no, Wisebot loses at the end! Wisebot, he almost turned it around there, but DJ Deeks takes the, uh, takes the match. Oh wow, you actually get like a ton of points from this! Exhibition matches are awesome, holy shit! I need to do exhibition matches more often. Okay, well, Wisebot gets some wine to drink his, uh... No, sorry, that was Deeks. Why is Deeks concerned? Here, Deeks, have some... No, not 24. Deeks, have some coin. There you go. And Wisebot can get some wine to drink that away. <laughs> Wisebot is very irritated. I love it. Impediment, max level. Victory's one. Yeah, okay. Oh. Junius. Junius does not have a lot of armor. Okay, Gladius and so on. Well, I feel it is time that we send in the new guys. Let's go, Palora! Here we go. We're chained once again. They love doing that, don't they? Oh man, for him not having any armor, Junius is doing some good damage. Palora might lose this. Oh god, Palora's gonna lose this. Oh, decapitated by the shirtless man. Unbelievable upset. Palora had everything going for him, but ah, damn. There goes one of our people. There goes one of our peeps. Well, I mean, you might want to purchase a new one, maybe. Insomniac, look at him. In basic Pugia, extreme bronze shield. Level 10. Well, let's get ourselves a new Insomniac. Get that Gladius in there. 
better shield. Studded cock always. All right, it's very evasive, very evasive. So we kind of do want to try to keep that weight down, but why are you displeased? I just bought you. Have some wine. Nice. I think we're gonna have... Let's see, he's actually pretty content. Let's have a uh, exhibition match for the Legate. Uh, we're gonna have... Let's see, Demon Dragon... Versus... Oh, this is a this is a good one. This is a, a nice rematch that we had before. Except these turns. Here we go. Let's have a nice exhibition match. Nice and clean. No craziness. Oh wow, they're not doing a lot of Oh, he loses. He loses his shield slash loses his shield. And his weapon too. No, wait, he's still got his weapon. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's still very close. Demon Dragon loses the shield as well. Slash GG down to 20. Slash might lose this. Ah, yeah, he can't turn it around. A victory for Demon Dragon, but a close fought one. Very close fought. A very close fought one. <laughs> very good. Demon Dragon gets rewarded with some coin. And some wine. By the way, talking about that, I'm gonna buy some. Might as well just buy all, so I'm full on that. Alright, oh, employees! I keep forgetting about this, oh my god. Provides dirty work and free pit fights. Dirty work is his specialty. If you need some spying, stealing, or want to wager on pit fights, this is your man. A skilled healer fixes your own infraction of the- oh my god, okay. Hire- why haven't I done this? Build stationary additions to your looters for comfort and profit. Upgrades stay even if he leaves. Looters upgrades. Inexpensive upgrades and equipment repairs. A farmer automatically repairs damage equipment makes upgrades cheaper. Educator. Educator helps turn your gladiators into self-actualized men that function at peak performance. Oh my god, there's so many. Making a sacrifice can win favor from the gods. A skilled negotiator merchant, you can buy everything cheaper. Food is power. If you don't have enough food, men will die. Dead men don't earn money. Make sure they're fed. Provides four, four food a day, but costs water. This provides... Oh my god, I can... Oh my god, I didn't know this. Architect is vital, and you can only have three at any time. Oh, I see. Well, then I'll get... Uh... Also, we have your Abad. With upgrades helping to the level up and heal fast. Doctore Emeritus, a retired Ludus manager who can provide more advanced and esoteric upgrades for your men, even though he won't train them himself. Okay. Medicus Emeritus. He has the ability to heal multiple units in once, including lions, behemoths, and horses. Can cure impediments and potentially raise a man from death himself. 1,700 coins. Okay, maybe next time. Uh, morale and AI proficiency. Inexpensive upgrades and equipment repairs. Cool, so where are they? Oh, they're, they're like here, okay. That's my architect. A wooden stick figure can aid in gladiator training, decreasing training time. Increase treatment speed, increase treatment speed, increase treatment speed. Automatically heal any gladiators who are hurt, free of course. Yeah, I'll turn that on. Uh, increase treatment speed, increase treatment speed. Okay, I can just use whatever. I have a lot of wine. I love how hand washing is a thing. Let's use antibiotics. Oh yeah, that that's a lot faster, isn't it? But he can only ever heal one person at the time, can he? Yeah. 
They're both healing. Okay, and then we've got the Faber. When the Faber has a spare moment, he will automatically upgrade a random piece of equipment on a random gladiator, free of cost. Automatically repair damaged equipment, free of cost. Okay. With better tools, repair speed is increased. The Faber can make upgrading your gladiator's helmets cheap. Oh, I see. You will automate up a random piece of equipment on a random gladiator free of cost. Well, we're gonna wait with that for now. Baba fixed basic tin helm. I didn't even know that they have like... Right, because my armor can actually break. Okay, so the legate isn't super happy, but that's alright. I'll send him some wine. And the magistrate... No, I don't want to... Why does it always jump so much? Oh, because I can hold... I see. Anyway, you have some wine Agreed. too, my friend. There you go. Let's see, the Magister's term in office is coming to a close, and he seeks your support for re-election. The Legate, who is openly opposed to the man, demands that you not only vote against the Magistrate, but convince others to do the same. Twitch chat, what should it be? Here you go. Oh, we got multiple people saying not to vote. Let's see, star pain vote, okay. Well, I see where this is going. But did, do you guys not know that every vote counts? <laughs> if you can vote, you should take it. Also, hello, Starbane. Welcome to the chat. Well, we will not vote. One police system. The magistrate is re-elected. <laughs> no thanks to you. Baba fixed improved him. Okay. All right, we're fighting Starbane. Who is actually wounded right now? Well, Starbane. Wait, is it like... No, okay, we're not... Okay, well... Starbane, you get to find Cowhead of Pigalia. Let's see if you can do it. Even if you're, uh... Even if you're hurt. Here you go! Let's go, Cowhead! Oh! Oh! No, Cowhead doesn't have the range! He loses his weapon as well! Cowhead is gonna lose this! He's gonna lose this bad! No, he's got his weapon back! Ah, oh, Cowhead is down! Oh! Oh, that was harsh! Oh my god! Starbane took him down easily, keeping him at range there. Damn! That was something. Insomniac is like one of our highest men right now, by the way. I just realized. Oh right, did we do the, get that upgrade? Yes. So now we have that, the baths. A green gladiator is a happy gladiator. Increases morale and decreases injury recovery. Renting space to local farmers for a share of their crop will generate food for the looters. A wine cellar can be rented for the share of their product. Generated free wine. With more space to serve, the medicine of the medic is more effective. Healing time decreases accordingly. Heavy stones placed near Gladiator's training area will decrease strength taming time. Prevent damage during natural disasters and decrease the chance of Gladiator escape. A private room for the Ludus champion will raise morale and protect him from unwanted attacks. Hot coals under Gladiator's feet will decrease agility training time? Okay, well we're doing the Apothecary, I'd say. Medicus is researching antibiotics. Nice. Um, I think we might need... Oh no, we have a battle incoming, actually. But we could do another exhibition match, actually. Let's go. Let's have an exhibition match again. And uh, let's do the rematch, DJ Deeks uh, versus Wisebot. The punching begins.
Whoever will pick up the first weapon thrown to them will find out. You can build palaces in all slots. It only works for that. So, oh, I have to build them in slots? I could, didn't even know I could... Okay, I thought it's just like a thing. Oh, there's a weapon. DJ Deeks goes for it. He's got him. Oh, in Jupiter's name, I submit. Nice. And so DJ Deeks wins. Wait, so I only... I build it in that slot. How do I choose the slot? How, like, how did I choose the slot? I don't I don't know. How do I keep winning? Okay, Galenius. Ah, oh, we're chained again, but we are many. Okay. Well, we're sending in our best. Galenius is worth it. Let's go. Another fight. Another day. Where we can die. Let's go! Gotta get rid of those chains. And then hopefully... Oh, oh, wow, we do a lot of damage and barely take any. Slash TG is a monster. He could have done this by himself. An absolute monster. Slash got some training stuff there. Nice, very fine, Slash. I mean, at this point, you are clearly this uh, Ludus's finest member. So how do I build... You said, like, I can build them in multiple slots, but... I don't... I don't see... How I do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're healing... We're healing Vice... Vice bot. Is that actually him working on him? I don't know. Anyway, let's get some antiseptics researched. And in blueprints minus fifty. Let's have him research armor stuff as well. Suggest gladiator patronage. He will. Okay, nice. Legate Levius Valerian has agreed to become a patron of Yoludas. He has adopted DJ Deeks. The Legate will be responsible for this gladiator's food and water until the day he dies on the field of battle. Very nice. I think, Deeks, it's time that um, you actually become a proper member of this Ludus. We will give you uh, a proper gladius. We will get a shield. There you go. Are you getting a studded cock? No, you haven't. I'm sorry, but you, uh, you, you haven't earned the studded cock yet. But what you have earned is uh, two coins as reward. And Wisebot is uh, earning some wine. Is everybody, like, okay, by the way? Who's this? Flash GG. Have some wine on me, buddy. I have a coin, too. Impediment. Maximum weapon level 32. Well, but I don't think that's the level. Okay, so that's not the points, that's the level. Well, if it's only 32, then I might as well start focusing more on, like, defense with him. Because his defense levels are pretty bad. <laughs> Your cock remains unstuttled. Okay, Kale and Ninius. Many versus many. So this is going to be a two versus two. And I guess we're going to be tethered. Which means that our two guys are going to be tethered together. Now Frax has a Gladius. Kale has absolutely nothing. Well, they did well the last time. Let's send them in again. The Dream Team slash TG and Insomnia Galopax. Here we go. The music in this is fantastic. Um, why are we fighting each other? A gift from the crowd! That's the weapon. Oh, he's gonna pick it up! Nice. Both of them dead. And the roses fly as Slash TG and Insomnia Galopax take the match. And we get Starbane. Very fine. I am Starbane. Hello.
Well, Starbane. Starbane, you're going to become basically like a crazy person who's all about them weapons and stuff. Uh oh. The magistrate is not happy. He is, in fact, displeased. We shall arrange an exhibition match to make him happier. Well, Starbane, you just arrived. But uh, you and Wisebot will have the ultimate challenge of facing the unbelievable DJ Deeks, who has made it from a slave to a proper uh, gladiator in short time. Let's see how this goes. Probably not very well. Cheer them on! We fight! Ah! They don't even have weapons. I should have at least given them weapons! Uh, it's a massacre! A gift from the proud! No, it was too late! It was too late! Well, they don't gain anything, but DJ Deeks sure gained something. That's some power leveling we just did there. <laughs> he is very angry. That's okay. Have some wine on me. I don't think that actually does anything. I'm not sure. Alright, we have three days left. Upgrades are happening. Magistrate is alright. Oh, we can have another exhibition match. How are our guys doing? The Magistrate's cousin has been slain under mysterious circumstances. Would you dedicate 30 coins to the investigation? <laughs> okay. Seems like quite a few people are for this. Ah, oh, looking good, looking good. Okay. I think I know what's happening. Let's go with yes. Although it proves to be inconclusive, the Magistrate is appreciative of your participation in the investigation. Yay, he goes. Yeah, he's pretty happy with that. Okay. So what happens if I press this? It just starts. Okay. Julius the Bane of Rome. 18 victory. Zweihänder plus. Holy shit, that's fucked up. Okay, yeah, we don't have anybody who can do that yet, I think. Alright, Avenius. Or Avenus. We will fight you. Many versus one. Well, DJ Deeks, you've proven yourself in the exhibition match. How much longer do you intend to stream, Clark? I'll be leaving for about half an hour. You'll, I'll be streaming still then. Don't worry. Uh, DJ Deeks will uh, work together with Demon Dragon, the two Ds, or the two DDs, Demon Dragon and DJ Deeks, will be working together. Let's hope this works out. Let's see if a Venus can do something. He doesn't even have a shield, but he might have the range on us. We don't know yet. Here we go. Oh, good teamwork. Decent teamwork. Taking some damage there, Deeks, though, but we pull it off. Deeks took some heavy damage, but the nice teamwork there by Demon Dragon and DJ Deeks pulled off the win. Very fine. So, by the way, I just realized I really need to kill my guys here. <laughs> Everybody's just healing. <laughs> Okay, so it's kind of all right. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, nice! So we got the armor blueprints done. So we can now have cheaper armor upgrades, which is quite nice. Uh, next up, definitely weapon blueprints. And talking about weapons, I think it's time for some upgrades. A basic Kwama. 
which I believe just has more range. Uh, Slash, I think, already has one, yes. But Slash is a mighty man. Magical Onyx Pole. Wait, did I just... Oh, that was dumb. That was not actually what I wanted to do, sorry. There we go. So Slash is definitely our champion right now. Demon Dragon needs an upgrade, though. Demon Dragon desperately needs an update. Like, holy crap. Wait. A dead man's face. Oh, okay. But we can do that. Put you in a centurion's mail. I mean, actually, you're, like, not very turtly, are you? And you have earned your studded cock. Nah, you're gonna get some more stuff here. Let's give you Centurion's levers. I'm wasting all my money, but what can I do? It's nice. Wisebot and Starbane are actually like rank one, while Slash TG is not. Well, I think it's uh, time we maybe do another exhibition match. This time with weapons. Who would have who would have thought? Uh, let's do one for the legate. Have a nice exhibition match once again be between our new people, Wisebot, who's well not that new acting more actually. He's got himself clobbered quite a bit. Wisebot versus Starbane. Let's see how this goes. Here we go! Oh, Wisebot definitely getting good hits in, but... Oh, taking damage! And uh, Starbane proves superior in the ring. Very nice, very nice. So that's a lot of points. Some wine for Wisebot. And uh, some coin for Starbane. The Medicus is researching antiseptics, very fine, so those are done. One of the Magistrate's daughters is to be married. She wishes to hold an exhibition game for entertainment, but the Magistrate confines that he's light of coin. Explain to the Magistrate that you are a business person and could not possibly lend your men for anything less than 32 coin. The Magistrate calls you a cunt under his breath and mentions the subject no more. Okay, apparently because we didn't have a lot of money, I guess. Yeah, he didn't he didn't like that so much. I guess I can arrange an exhibition match for him. So he's uh, a little happier. Alright, well they were a dream team, but now they shall be fighting each other. The quadruple D. Demon Dragon DJ Deeks meet in an exhibition match. Who shall be victorious? Find out. Oh, good hits there on DJ Deeks, who has the HP advantage by far. Demon Dragon losing this quite heavily. DJ Deeks takes the win. Demon Dragon better equipped, more of a veteran but couldn't win against Deke's unrelenting attacks. Just couldn't pull it off. Don't worry, DD, drink some wine, and you'll be fine. DJ Deeks, you get rewarded with wine coin. I'm actually not sure, is the Medicus actually doing anything? Like, it says automatically heal any gladiators who are hurt free of cost. Like, so is he doing this? Is he actually doing this? Because I don't really see my people being 
healed faster. Hand washing. Okay, well, we have our next battle soon. So we will bring in some coin again, so that's nice. Here we go. We're gonna be fighting versus Justin. That's an interesting name for a Roman man, but what can you do? Justin has a basic Kwama, so he's quite got he's got quite the range, but he doesn't quite have the defense. So let's send in Slash, who has the same range, but a lot more defense. We get a lot of money from this, that's nice. Here we go. Oh, we're also, I just realized we're also tethered. Damn evasive roll from Justin. Justin definitely using his range there, but Slash just has a defense going on. Justin has a lot of HP. Slash taking less damage though from what I see there and is using his shield quite nice and takes off Justin's head with a critical strike at the end. 64 damage. Unbelievable. Slash TG truly is the champion of Ludus Klyka. Very, very fine and we shall heal him and you shall uh, be rewarded with 10 coins. And also with five of my finest bottles of wine. <laughs> wine. We shall also give you a new shield. We shall give you the heavy greaves, the extreme <laughs> greaves. Um, I'm gonna give you this nice helmet here. Nice. Starbane needs some equipment. There you go. Starbane is a proper man now. He's also very happy. I think we should send him in. Into a fight. Uh, the Legate wants an exhibition match. Well, I think we need to see if... Oh, he can't do it. Okay. He's disquieted, apparently. Alright, bought myself some more stuff. Uh, so we can only have a tender pit fight. We've never done this. So he is Servius. Details are hazy in the low light of this dank pit. Servius has five victories. He's using a basic Kwama. Well... Let's send in Insomniac. Don't you die on me in a pit fight, Insomniac. Give me that money. Oh, this is cool. There's a proper pit right here. Yeah. Let someone try out what uh, the Domina or the Soundtrack uh, command actually does. Oh, damn. We, we do some good damage if we hit him, but he's keeping Insomniac at a decent range right here. Insomniac going for it, though. There you go. Nice one, Insomniac. In the deep, dank pit, you make money for us. Oh, cool. And we actually got a new um, gladiator out of that called Faustus. I am Faustus. Faustus is a Mormillo, which means that Faustus doesn't actually use shields. Faustus uses two weapons at the same time. By the way, check it out. We can get the basic Kwama for 75 instead of uh, 100 now. So this is pretty cool. I mean, if he, like... We're gonna make this man all about strength and weapon. That's that's gonna be, like, his, his thing, basically. Let's see. Uh, a canvas sack. No, you're getting, like, a proper thing. Studded cock, of course. And a dead man's face. I think that fits. Nice. Now, by the way, I am a uh, very gracious owner. So if you actually manage to um, make it to a lot of victories and so on, at some point I will grant you your freedom. You have nine victories, but you have a loss, Insomniac. Nice. He's very agreeable. I like that. The Legate is not that agreeable. 
Can't do another pit fight. Next pit fight is in 11 days. I see. Okay. Uh, the Faber can do some upgrades. Let's get helmet blueprints so we get those cheaper. Wisebot. Well, Wisebot at some point will get some equipment. Done building apothecary. Nice. Private gladiator quarters. Yes, I think we shall build the private gladiator quarters. For slash TG, our champion needs his own room. I love how you research hand washing. It's like, should I wash my hands after I'm done with this? Yes, probably. This crazy man here. Alright, we can have another exhibition match for the Magistrate. Well, let's see who is the best. Slash TG or Starbane. Actually, yeah, I think that's okay. All right, let's go. Not not that much a difference in um in HP, so we'll find out. Slash versus Starbane. Here we go. Uh, Starbane definitely with the better equipment, but Slash is doing some good damage to him. Uh, whenever whenever Slash takes a hit, though, he does take a hit and he loses his shield. This might be it for uh, Slash. This might be it. This is where he goes down. Oh, Slash, but a very, very well-fought fight there. Very well-fought fight. No shame in that one. The Emperor will hear of this. Why is Insomniac not healing? Nice, we've researched hand washing, so that's good. Wait, what? I can put him, like, on there? That's kind of fun. Oh, I see. He just, like, runs away. After a brutal military loss, the legate is missing. He is rumored to be held captive in a Gaul camp nearby. Attempt to reason with the leader of the army, stating that retribution will be swift and severe if the legate is not returned. Offer 21 coin to secure the legate's release, or let the legate perish in his own doing. I love how we are the ones who go there to tell him this, like, random Ludus woman goes there to tell him. Alright, we attempt to reason. The leader of the Gaul War Party is not convinced that you have the balls to make such a threat. He is half correct. You do not have balls, but your threat stands. As Pompey's army rolls through the area, you lend valuable intelligence that leads to the annihilation of the Gaul war party and the return of the legate. Your wisdom exceeds your he is satisfied by this. We just saved your life. Okay, next battle is in five days. Which is okay, I'd say. Let's see... Well, I think it's time for another exhibition match. And you know who it's gonna be. It's gonna be the Double Ds. The Double Ds are having their rematch. Demon Dragon with the basic Kwama. DJ Deeks with lots and lots of HP. And overall, more defense as well, apparently. Not an easy fight for Demon Dragon at all. 
Demon Dragon can take it. But we'll see. Oh god, Demon Dragon definitely not doing the damage that needs to be done. Deeks has this easily. Alright, it seems that um, we need to put either some better equipment, although Demon Dragon does have some pretty decent equipment, actually. I think Demon Dragon needs to, like, focus more on strength to increase hit points. Don't worry, drink it off, DD. Painkillers. Do we have another? We have another pit fight, but we also have a battle in two days. Hmm. Oh, well, I think we're gonna be okay. Let's it. Oh my god, no. Okay, that was. That is not good. That's many versus many. We would get a new person from that. But not five days before a fight. I'd have to send in like three or four people in there. And do I have the people for that? I mean, I guess I kinda do. Well, I mean, let's see how this goes. A real pit fight. This is gonna be an epic battle. Here we go! Oh god, someone went berserk! Oh god, what happened? Someone died! Did we lose somebody? Oh god, I think we lost somebody. Oh no, we lost! Slash TFG! In the very end! Oh no! In the very, very end, with the last hit, Slash TFG! Has, uh, has died. They all healing? Man, Faustus didn't even take damage. We did get Urbanus, but he's just a slave. <laughs> you can sell him for two gold. Actually hilarious when you think about it. Demon Dragon has appealed for release. To what virtue can I appeal? To you, one who is without virtues. If the only way out of this hell is death, then at least I go by my own hand. Deny the request or approve the request. Well, Demon Dragon has been losing quite a bit. So she needs to prove herself first. So I am denying this request. Well, actually, Demon Dragon only has one loss, because apparently the exhibition matches don't count. I'm not sure. Also, DD is too... Like, I, I can't grant you your freedom yet, DD. I need you. Sentius and Tenekil. Tenekil has a basic Quam. They both have basic Quamas. This one has... Not a lot of defense. This guy is pretty alright, actually. Six versus two. I can send six people in here, really? <laughs> Should I send in, like, the two idiots, too? No. No, no, no. We're sending in four versus two. We're being honorable in only overrunning them with twice the amount. Well, they have a ton of HP, so let's see how this goes. They're also apparently, yeah, they're also chained up. Holy crap. Oh god. Oh, they do damage. They do good damage. We lose a man. Oh no. Oh, they do damage. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Wow, we lost half our people. Holy crap, these guys were strong. We Faustus and Starbane lie in the sand, bleeding out at the end of the fight. We get a new Horatius, and Insomniac and Slash TG live on to fight another day, bringing us a lot of coin. So Horatius and Urbanus. Wait, I just realized I haven't been researching at the Doctora at all, have I? Okay, we're gonna do the Retarius training so we can actually get that at some point. Yeah, it's definitely time that we equip our people a bit again, or like properly rather. There you go, so Wisebot has some. Flash GG needs some better stuff, I think. Nice. Flash doing pretty alright there, I guess. Insomniac is agility training. No, you're healing Insomniac. What are you doing? If you won't grant me freedom, give me your horse. I like it. Wait, I just realized, so what was that with the palace? Decreasing training time. So whoever's like... So it only works here, right? Yeah, apparently. Oh, Slash needs to heal quite a bit. Slash, why are you so irritated? Arrange an exhibition match. I think it's time that we see what Urbanus and Horatius can do. Need to actually put them against each other, though. Urbanus... Ah, Horatius definitely has the advantage in HP, so let's see how this goes. 3, 2, 1, slay. Man, Ho like, Urbanius attacks a lot faster than Horatius. Look at that at the top right. Horatius couldn't get anything done. Like, absolutely nothing. My wounds are grave. I will never be the same. Man, Urbanus didn't even take damage. It's kind of nuts, actually. Alright, I have no idea how if I'm playing this game correctly, by the way. Anyway, that was about one and a half hours of Domina. Um... I'm really enjoying this game. We're going to be playing more of this. Maybe at some point I'll like restart it uh, in a new stream. And then, you know, like when more people are there and they show up as NPCs and so on. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this as well and you enjoyed watching this. Again, a huge thanks to the developers uh, who were so awesome to provide me with a key for this. Um, I think it's a pretty fantastic game. Uh, I haven't even done the whole thing where I can fight myself. Uh, which I guess is kind of what you're supposed to do. Because, you know, like, you're supposed to, like, fight and block and so on. Um, but I kind of like it, just sending my guys in and seeing if they can win. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's a pretty awesome game right here. And if you want to check it out, the name of the game is Domina. You can find it on Steam, maybe even somewhere else, I don't know, but it's definitely on Steam. Check it out. It's a very fun game. And, uh, you know, it's all about management, con permadeath of your gladiators... Uh, you know, keeping the legate and the magistrate happy, and just being the best gladiator slave owner that you can be. And what else could you wait? Uh, could you ask for? So, uh, thank you very much for.